Okay, well, welcome to my recommendations. And on this episode, William and I, we're going to try for the very first time, we've never done this before, to try to create some barn doors using some cinefoil. And this is by Roscoe. You can get this on Amazon. Um, yeah, Roscoe. Light control aluminum aluminum wrap. Aluminium. Um. <laughs> and we're going to use our garage light that we got. That's an LED. It's really, really bright. This mm. one's round, so I hope that, that we can make this fit on there yeah no we've never done this before and uh but we want four doors to it so we're gonna yeah. figure out the best way yeah you will need some scissors or a razor knife or whatever i think yeah. scissors work pretty good yeah it's not your traditional aluminum foil box it doesn't have that little metal cutter on it so yeah. i don't know you could probably rip the stuff just fine if you don't have scissors but to get a straighter edge you probably want to use scissors and to be honest, it doesn't have to be very pretty. It yeah. really doesn't. It, yeah. it, it works out just fine, I think. Uh, I've seen some yeah. pretty nasty looking ones, but yeah. I've never done it. So we'll try to make it nice. Yeah. So, um, Yeah. After the bending and folding of it, it's probably not going to look as pretty as it did. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know how long we should make it, but I think we're going to go, yeah, really stick them out there. Because I guess the more... Length of the foil is the more you can manipulate it and create some cool shapes to it. Those will make it long. Yeah. So we just need four pieces. Yeah, William and I haven't um, done any kind of light shaping yet. So maybe with these barn doors work out really good, we can start doing some more cinematic stuff with light. Yeah. That'd be fun. I suppose you could put some shapes into the cinefoil like like slits or something yeah so, so that when you can shine the light through it, it'll look like there's some cool shadows hitting, hitting a wall that is like so maybe it's supposed to be a window and the window you really don't have yeah you know things like that like blinds mm -hmm. like light coming through the blinds <clears throat> okay so we got four four bits there roughly the same size yeah then I'm going to show you what the how big the roll is so there's 50 feet on this one. Yeah. So pretty decent size. We can make a lot of barn doors with mm -hmm. that. They seem it seems a little little bit heavier dutier than your average aluminum foil. Oh yeah. But it's it's probably twice as thick as regular aluminum yeah. foil. Now the other thing about this is is it's it's matte black with a a special a special paint that is heat resistant. So it, yeah. you can put it on a hot light and it just it won't catch on fire if you try to take some regular tin foil and paint spray paint it black <laughs> chances are that it's it'll burn it'll it, yeah burning or melting or something and now granted you, you wouldn't want to touch this stuff if it was on a hot light you're going to want that to cool down first before you yeah. grab it <laughs> well the cool thing about aluminum foil is that it, it dissipates heat pretty quick mm -hmm. so but with this spotlight that we have, it it's LED. It does generate heat, but very minute. Um, mm -hmm. After maybe a few hours of running it, you could still touch it with the bare hand. Yeah, and it's warm. Definitely warm. But, but it's not as hot. It's not going to burn you or anything like that. So, yeah, the heat sinks on the back. They 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 seem to work pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, this stuff can be folded many, many times. I, I suppose just like any piece of metal, if you fold it in the same spot over and over and over again, it'll just make it, you know, yeah, it'll break in half. Break in, but, yeah. but you should get more than one use out of it. So oh, oh, very that's, many, that's, very many uh, more than one. Yeah. And so this roll of really cinefoil, I think I spent around twenty dollars for it, maybe twenty five bucks, something yeah. like that. So, but very useful. Yeah. It's either you know. You have a light that you want to use, but you don't have barn doors for it, which you need, and you're not willing to spend like the what, two hundred dollars on the on real barn, barn doors, doors for this nice light that you have, <laughs> or at least you don't have the money to spend it on it. You know, you just you know twenty bucks on some uh, cinema foil. Well, you know, this garage light also doesn't it doesn't come with you know gr yeah. barn doors. You know, <laughs> and not only that, but I don't. It's, it wouldn't be very easy to put. You'd have to customize your own barn doors on this thing if you mm -hmm. wanted it. And that's what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> So I got some gaffers tape, and and I, I I chose that instead of some duct tape because if I take it off, um, the gaffers tape really doesn't leave any residue on the light. So yeah. I didn't want these things to be all sticky and stuff. So yeah, gaffers tape's pretty awesome. It uh, it's quite strong. It holds its adhesive, and it doesn't damage other things. Mm -hmm. So there's a reason why gaffers tape is so expensive. 
I found out you can get gaffer's tape in different colors, too. So you can get gaffer's tape in white, even chroma key green. Oh, nice. Stuff like that, yeah. So here we are just uh, trying to tape these darn things onto it. <laughs> yeah, so we're going we're gonna, to said to put the, the top where it's on the inside and everything after that is sort of on the outside of it, rotating around it. So yeah. seems like a good idea. Yeah. This is a part you probably want to yeah. just fast forward through it. So a series of gaffer taping corner. I just did each corner and one shot in the middle. And that should hold it pretty good. Yeah. Times four. Yeah, we don't need any glue. We don't need anything like that. Just this gaffer's tape. Looks like we're really quick. Mm -hmm. We've done this thousands of times. We're professionals. <laughs> Absolute top-notch professionals. That worked out really good. I mean, it's mm -hmm. a round light, and it's got four <laughs> doors. That's not an easy thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was thinking at first to put, like, some kind of box around it to give it corners, mm -hmm. and then just have that go into a circle shape. That way it make it easier. But mm -hmm. that just worked out fine. Well, that I stuff was... can be folded into whatever shape you need it. You yeah. Know? That's, that, that's, that's nice about it. Mm -hmm. Like what you're doing there, you're sort of shaping it to be, it's round, but we want it to still seem straight on the uh, at the end. You know? Yeah. So you can totally do that with this stuff. Yeah. So now we're going to put tape in between the pieces to kind of close up that gap. Trying to get a good angle. There we go. Yeah. The round shape of this so, light is uh it makes it kind of weird, but yeah. uh I think we'll make this work. Yeah. Yeah, the gaffer's tape is really, really nice. Easy to mm. work with too. Yeah. Unfortunately, gaffer's tape isn't cheap. I wish I had a better deal. I want, yeah. I want more of it. Yeah. Like <laughs> but, I said at the at the guitar center, they have the the thick rolls that look like duct tape rolls. Yeah. But they're they're twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. Now I've had that roll of gaffer's tape for how long now? Like yeah, like, like, two years. So Something it's like that. so it's still good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. We yeah we don't cr crazy use it. Like yeah, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna put a piece of tape here on the ground to. Uh, to cover up this little hole in the ground. Yeah, we use other cheap stuff for that. There you go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was trying to... That's a thumbs up, by the way. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's the thumbs up. <laughs> no, there we go. Yeah, it's not a thumbs down. There we go. All right, now let's see what it can do. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I shine it on the... Yeah. The We're going to blind you guys. <laughs> Sparking. <laughs> oh, hold on. Sparking. Yeah. Boom. Ooh, in your face. Yeah. <coughs> Hopefully that didn't kill your lens. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It is blocking the light. Pretty darn good. Which I guess aluminum foil does. And we were thinking too, why not just use regular aluminum foil? Well, yeah, it, it, aluminum foil will block the light. Unfortunately, since aluminum foil is the silver it'll stuff, reflect it's going it. to reflect it. Which could be a good thing, but when you want to just block the light from one area, you don't want it. Look how um, we might want the light, but not the lens flare. So you yeah. know, you can use the barn door to 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 do that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, working out really good. It's a little bit better than I expected. It's like wow, it, yeah, <laughs> it works. Yeah, we we were trying to figure out how we could get it to so you can really notice it, and we we realized right away, wow, you can really notice it. So, okay, so here's the next video. Oh, there's me. <laughs> yeah. it's got crazy <laughs> hairs going on. I got to shave that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so we turned the rest of the lights off in the room. And yeah. So now we want to see if we can actually shape the light. Yeah. And lo and behold. Yeah. You can do quite well. It really blocks off that light going over to the sides and on the top. So, I'll, yeah, we're trying to get, like, a straight across slit or something. Yeah, yeah. so it's kind of like a rectangular, yeah. Wow. 
it's easy to mess mess around with that. I suppose if you really got in there and uh, you could, um, we could fold the corners, corners together to get and it really yeah, to get it really fine tuned. Mm -hmm. Line going across. But we're here. We're just you yeah. know flopping them around to see what you can do. But yeah, look at that. Yeah. Even then, if you wanted that fine line, you could probably just take the sides and flop them open. Mm -hmm. I don't care about killing the sides. I just want the top and the bottom to have that fine line going across. Mm -hmm. But but we can aim aim the light right where we want it and nowhere else. That yeah. is cool. Yeah. It really kills the light going in that area. This is actually our first experience at all with barn doors. We never really played with barn doors at all. No. So so we'll have to do some cinematic stuff with barn doors. Yeah. Homemade barn doors. There you go. See, there's a nice little rectangular slit going across there. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to show you. Yeah, it starts right there. Look at that. Look at that nice flat edge. That really works yeah. good. I yeah. spark myself. <laughs> bright. Yeah, it's bright. So this light is 3,000 lumens, yeah. so yeah, it's right in your face. It's, <laughs> it's pretty bright. I think this is when you realize the <laughs> reflector. <laughs> yeah. The reflector is like, uh, man, that's going right back to the camera. Yeah. <laughs> it's really killing our exposure. <laughs> yeah. So here's where we're going to make the, the, the light be one half of the room and definitely not the other. Yeah. You know, just kind of divide it. Yeah. There's definitely a line right there. That's definitely way yeah. cool. Wait for you to move that reflector. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah. <laughs> it sure is bright in the face. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But definitely the barn door is doing what we want it to do. That is great. Yeah. That's a, that's a nice shadow. See how bright that thing is? Look how sharp that shadow is on there. Yeah. That light is freaking bright. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sparking. <laughs> yeah. So you could definitely do this with um, pretty much any light. I mean, even an incandescent light. That's for sure. You could put a barn door on whatever. But yeah. I just wanted to test it on one of the brightest lights we have. Yeah, and we really wanted to see that, that mm -hmm. difference in the line. And so, uh, yeah, this, this cinefoil, it's worth it. I mean, it does mm -hmm. cost you a few bucks, but... You're you're gonna benefit a lot from it if you're making some some indie films of your own. You might might find the need to you know use some barn doors on some of your lights for the cinematic look. Thumbs up. Yep. So yeah. thanks for watching and uh, get yourself some cinefoil and play around with it. It's always fun to play with things until you get caught. <laughs> <laughs> we'll right. see you next time. Later.